Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do lesson 2.2 part 2 pre and we're going into 2.2 part 2 today, the distributive property. You got 26 points on your class worksheet and you got 10 points that will go into your notebook or your notebook guide. Have that out in front of you now, students. Put your name, date, period on your phone, your tablet, or your paper. Go right into today's lesson, page 1, two variable expressions that have the same value for all values of the variables are called equivalent variable expressions. You can use the distributive property to write equivalent variable expressions. <clears throat> so to do that, I want you now students to define equivalent numerical expressions here in your own words and then equivalent variable expressions down here define that you have numerical and you have variable expressions so let's get that straight and you got 10 points here for page two for your definition students and your handwriting put that here that goes into your notebook page two 2.2 part two label it that way so when i do my notebook check i can see that you're doing your work Let's go into our next page here into an example. Example three, write equivalent variable expressions. Use the distributive property to write an equivalent variable expression. So for A, three times quantity X plus seven, this would become three X plus three times seven using distributive property here. And when you simplify that, you have 3x plus 21. So this would be a, an equivalent expression to that. <clears throat> Let's try another one. So um, use the distributive property, write an equivalent variable expression. for. So we have quantity n plus 4 times uh, negative 2. So for that one, we just multiply negative 2 to each element here of inside the parentheses. And we have n times negative 2 plus 4 times negative 2. And then when you simplify that out, you get negative 2n plus negative 8 or negative 2n minus 8. So that would be a definition there of a subtraction when you add the, the opposite of. <clears throat> so <clears throat> there it is. This equals this. Let's try another one, <clears throat> another equivalent variable expression. So use distributive property again. So we have negative 5 times the quantity 2y minus 3. And then when you distribute your negative 5 to each one of these terms inside the parentheses, you get negative 5 times 2y minus negative 5 times 3. And you end up here with negative 10y minus negative 15. And then a negative of a negative will be a positive. So you get negative 10y plus 15. <clears throat> so let's try one now in our guided practice. This is yours down here, students. Uh, use the distributive property to write an equivalent variable expressions. We have negative 2 times the quantity 6y minus and to do that, use the distributive property write an equivalent variable expression, we have 2 times uh, 6y and then 2 times negative 4. And this becomes negative 2 times 6y minus um, negative uh, 2 times uh, 4. This becomes negative 12y minus negative 8. And then negative of negative will be a positive. So we have negative 12y plus 8 is what this is equal to this down here. And moving into our next example here, uh, finding areas of geometric figures. Find the area of the rectangle or triangle. In this case, it's a rectangle here. So we have 2x plus 5 and then 7 here. Use the formula for the area of a rectangle. So area equals L times W, length times width. So I guess this is length and then this will be width here. Find that area of this rectangle. We have 2x plus 5 times 7, basically, is what we have. And to distribute our 7 into the parentheses, we have 2x uh, times 7 plus 5 times 7. This becomes 14x plus 35. So the area of this uh, triangle, or triangle, this rectangle, 
the area of this rectangle is 14x plus 35 square units. So let's try another one. <clears throat> let's go into finding the area of now a triangle. Here's our triangle. So we have a height here of 8 minus 3y. And then we have a base here of 12. So use the formula for the area of a triangle. Area equals 1 half base times height. So we have 1 half 12 times 8 minus 3y. That's your basic formula for the area of a triangle. Then when we multiply through, we have 6 times the quantity 8 minus 3y. And because we took 1 half base times height, 1 half of 12 is 6. 6 times 8 is, uh, and then 6 times 3y, negative 6 times 3y. We get 48 minus 18y is the area of this triangle, square units by the way, square units, 48 minus 18y square units. So let's try to find the area of this rectangle, then students, this is yours down here, the triangle. So doing our guided up here, the area of this rectangle, <clears throat> area equals length times width, so we have 3x minus 2 times 4, this becomes 12x minus 8. 3x times uh, 4 is 12x. Negative 2 times 4 be negative 8. And so the area is 12x minus 8 square units for this rectangle. And that's your lesson for today. Enemy a PowerPoint math video at ALO.com for questions or course materials. Thank you very much.